Hi everyone, uh, today for our Sprout Minute we're going to be talking about grooming. Our video this week is going to be more like 5 to 7 minutes, but typically it'll take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes to get a horse groomed for their lesson. So the first thing that you want to do before you even start to groom is you want to feel your horse with your hands. And what you're doing is you're feeling through their fur to their skin. You're feeling for any lumps or bumps or cuts or scrapes all the way from the front of their body to the back and down their legs. And as you're doing that, um, you'll learn where to concentrate your grooming efforts. And if you have to treat something before the lesson starts, you can take care of it in time. Um, so once that happens, then you're gonna move on to the curry comb. And there's a few different options that we have. Um, the options range from something a little bit harder to something more soft for horses that have more sensitivity. Duke doesn't really care about his currying. So we're gonna start from the front of his body and we're gonna use circular motions. And what that does is it gets the dirt from his skin. It brings it to his hair so that we can then um, brush it off with the hard brush. So I'm just using circular motions. I'm going from the front to the back. I'm concentrating also under his belly where his girth will go. And I'm even gonna go down his legs. So I'm gonna use the curry a lot softer on his legs, but I am gonna use it especially on a rainy day like today. Once that's done, I'm gonna move on to the hard brush. It's the stiff brush that's in the bag and it works like a broom. So it's gonna take the dirt and it's gonna move it off of his hair. And we use short, quick strokes that flick up so the dirt moves off of his body and away from his skin and his fur. I'm gonna use that all the way from the front to the back of him if the horse's legs are dirty, you can use it on their legs, but please be more gentle. After that, I'm gonna move on to the soft brush. And the soft brush's job is to lay his hair flat to make him look sleek and shiny. So I'm gonna use long strokes for that. I'm gonna use it from the front to the back with long stroke motions. And I can also use it on those areas that are more sensitive. So I can concentrate on his legs. I'm gonna get behind his fetlock. I'm gonna get by his hock, which is where horses tend to get pretty dirty, especially when they're rolling. All the way down his legs, behind his other fetlocks, and also on his face. So I'll just follow the pattern of his hair growth and just do it nice and slowly and gently. So once that's done, I'm going to move on to his mane and tail. We want to brush out his mane because a lot of the times in lessons our riders are doing two point and their fingers can get stuck in tangles that are in the mane. So we're going to brush out his mane top to bottom working all the way through it. And you can also feel to make sure that he doesn't have any scabs in his mane. And then I'm gonna to move to the tail. So when I brush out his tail, I wanna always remember that it takes five to 10 years for him to grow this tail out. And it's a useful tool for him. So he uses it to swish flies, um, which, is, which are really uncomfortable. So I wanna always apply a detangler before I start to brush it. And the detangler is usually a silicone based product and it makes the hair slippery and less likely to pull when the brush moves through it. So I just rub that in. I can go all the way to the top and I won't use it in the mane because it is slick. So we don't want hands to slide in his mane. But for his tail, I'm gonna start low and then I'm just gonna move high, higher and higher slowly and if the tail is really tangly we'll just do it piece by piece moving from the bottom to the top once that's done i'm going to do his uh, hooves so when you pick out a horse's hooves you want to think about moving their weight from one leg to the opposite leg so the technique that i like to use is called tap tap slide and grab. The tap lets them know what leg you're going to use. The slide pushes his weight slowly to the opposite leg and the grab supports his foot when I'm picking it out. So tap, tap, slide, I'm pushing against that leg and then I'm just going to let him rebalance 
and grab. And when I'm picking out his feet, I'm gonna pick down to the ground, concentrating on either side of his frog. That's the little triangle in the middle of his hoof. And basically that's his shock absorber. So this is nail and this is more like skin tissue. So I'm gonna brush it out when I'm done cleaning it. And I'm gonna lightly put it back down on the ground. Once that's done, I can do my once over of him and add any extra products. So one of the products that we like is a shiny spray. It's a conditioning, coat conditioner spray. It just keeps dust from accumulating on their hair and their fur. You're gonna skip the saddle area with that because it is silicone based and slick. And then once I'm done with that, I can use a hot rag and rub it in. And so that's just gonna take care of all of the dust that the brush couldn't remove. Make sure that he's really clean for his lesson, that he's clean under his saddle area and under his girth area. And it just makes them shinier and it gets down to their skin. And then last but not least, hoof polish. So I like the tea tree oil hoof polish because it doesn't stay on their hooves too long. It moisturizes it, but not overly. So I like that. And when you're putting on your hoof polish, you wanna stand on the side of the horse's hoof, not in front, in case they bring up their knee. And you're just gonna go back and forth from side to side, but you're gonna leave this area right between um, the top of his hoof and the lower part of his coronary band because that's where growth occurs. So we don't really wanna cover that part up. Once you do all that, your horse should be ready to go into the ring. They're gonna look good, they're gonna look clean, and they'll feel good about working. So thanks.